Welcome back, my friends. John from the Live for a Wild channel. Let's take a look at this uh, important piece of EDC that I carry all the time. It is the VanQuest Mobus 2.0. This is a V Slinger or V Pack. Um, it's a sling pack and uh, it's packed full of stuff. Uh, I take it to the range, I have it close by. Um, I change it out, I'll take the gun out of it if I'm leave it in the vehicle, I won't leave a gun in the vehicle. Or if I'm going somewhere I can't carry a weapon, I still carry this bag. You, you never know when something's going to happen. I took it down to Falmageddon, a YouTube shoot, helped out a couple guys with some cuts and some burns and stuff. It's nice to have this stuff on hand, ready to go. I just grab it by the handle and I'm, I'm there. So, I, I have not no medic by any means, but you all, all should, should check out Skinny Medic's channel down below. I'll put the link down below. I would love to take his class he's having. Uh, one of these days I'll be able to take some vacation time and try drive down there and take it. it I would think it'd be worth the, the drive. Um, I've had Red Cross first aid training, AED training, uh, CPR and all that. I'm salt certified and that stuff, but I would like to go to the next level and get some really good uh, first aid wounds, that kind of stuff, kind of training. So it's very important for you to know that kind of stuff. I read books. I got first aid books I look at, try to learn myself, but make sure you get some training out there. So let's take a look at this bag. All right, first you'll see this is the black camel. It is uh, the standard colors come in a thousand D uh, Kodora um, nylon. This is 500 D and it's held up very well. Um, see Velcro on the outside. Lots of bells and whistles. This is ambidextrous. You look at the clips. It's got this neat locking clip. Works real well. So if you push it um, it's held up very well for me. Um, let's, you know, enclosed zippers. I'll put a lot of the specs down below. I'm not big into all the specs, but it's got tons of room for stuff. So, one big thing that you notice, I got a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. It fits in the side. Water, you know, you get stranded somewhere, you got some water. Um, adds a lot of weight, but it's worth the, the weight in gold. Washing off your hands. Somebody's got to clean out a wound, that kind of stuff. Nice to have some water handy. So, but if you don't want to use it for store water, this zips right up. Like so. And it's just a smaller, you can put a smaller water bottle. I run the, the 32 ounce Nalgene bottles. I, I'm a big fan of Nalgene bottles. Numerous amount of pockets. So let's start opening this thing up. All right, before I open it up, let's look at the back side. See, you know how well it's wearing. So bottom's a little dirty, but holds up well. Let's get the first thing out of the way. That is, this has a nice big pocket. It'll hold a full size gun in there. This is a CZP-09. So, I also picked up these mag holders. So a full size gun is a little tight in here but it works out well. Um, got the got Velcro in here. This is a VanQuest uh, two mag holder. Double mag holder. And then I got my a knife in there. That's a SE Azula, and then I also have a neck thing in there for a little sunny or something. I don't want to wear a hat and put that on. So, very spacious, lots of room, and then you can do a little lock on there if you wanted to. So, 
But if I'm leaving this in the car unattended, I don't have a gun in there. Like a compact or subcompact, like Glock fits in there perfect, that kind of thing. So, <clears throat> all right, for the quick, easy access stuff, um, I have some gloves, latex gloves, some wipes. Some lens cleaner, just something. This be work great for your camera, cell phone, whatnot. And then here's another easy access. Got more latex gloves. Another set there. Um, some Tylenol. That's about it in there. It has Velcro on the front, so I got the first aid symbol on there. This is a glow in the dark, so you shine it up and it'll. Reflect light pretty easy. All right, let's look inside where the water bottle was. This is uh, I've got a spark in there, some treatment water treatment, some crystal light punch, hand sanitizer, another set of wipes. I, I, I double up on Alaska Gatorade. If somebody's really a uh, Need some electrolytes, gets hot. Some more uh, crystal light, water tablets. And that is it on that side. All right, now let's look on the opposite side of the water. This side also has a zipper so you can put another Nalgene bottle in there. And then it also has a cord a bungee cord that you can hold it down on both sides. But I got the I'm using the bungee cord for something inside of here. Let's open up this side. Got a little CPR kit. Cat tourniquet. Another uh, compression dressing. That was from Skinny Medic. Compressed gauze, scissors, some uh, Gorilla Tape, you makeshift whatever you need to make. All right, now let's let's pull the front open. That drawstring top, and this is what I got this other cord pull, on. and it's got a little bit of a paracord and some uh, athletic tape. Pull this open on the front, got an emergency blanket that's vacuum sealed. Some bug repellent. That's it there. I'll zip open the front here. I have hanky, some glucose tablets. Somebody gets low sugar. An uh, ace wrap. A little whistle with a little compass, which in a temp gauge. And this is a, a night eyes little glow stick. Um, vapor inhaler, somebody's some Advil. This is a Bic lighter in there. A small flashlight, check dilations, that kind of stuff. Uh, an EpiPen for. Somebody gets a reaction, bee sting. Triple antibiotic ointment. Marker, so you can write down notes if you needed. Chest seals. I got the picked these up from Skinny Medic. Oh. All right.
All right, let's take a look what's in the center pocket, and we'll be all set. Um, it's got a drawstring closure. This is what I have on the other side of the cord, some uh, athletic tape on this little dispenser. Um, this is a uh, glucose meter and also has some uh, nitro pills for somebody having a heart attack. Like I said, you need to get training. Um, this is my uh, top EDC. I'll put a video at the link. This is always going in my lunch box when I'm not carrying this. This goes with me. I'm going to make another one of these here soon just so I don't have to pull them back and forth. This thing is packed full of stuff. This thing is awesome. Alright, uh, some Coban. Works great for wrapping somebody up. Israeli bandage. Whole bunch of stuff, wound closures, that kind of stuff. Picks. Uh, I see some Advil in there, some off wipes, some gauzes, band aids. And then I got two packs of hand warmers. Somebody's cold, or you want to. If you're in the middle of the winter, like here in Michigan, you want to get some dexterity back in your hands to do stuff, warm them right up. If you look in there, there's plenty of room for stuff. Got a pouch on each side, so very nice, well put together bag. Oh, let's take a full shot of everything that's in this bag, and it really packs a punch. There you have it. The VanQuest Mobus 2.0 V-Packer. So check it out. Great product. About 85 bucks, 86 bucks. I'll put the links down below. Here's my EDC. This thing is just packed full of stuff. Also, it's got a lot of doubles in here. But if you're thinking I need anything else to add to this. You know, besides training, that is my biggest weakness. So, like I said, I don't always have a gun in there. It will fit a full-size gun. A subcompact fits a little bit nicer. So, all right. Let me know what you think. Um, and uh, thanks for watching.